So let's take a look at the trails that we're gonna be riding for day three and four. Uh, also, a disclaimer I want to throw out there, I am going to leave out some of the green trails that are in this area. I do have them in older videos, so if you're interested in watching what the green trails look like here in Cameron Park, I do have videos on my channel showing those trails. So today and tomorrow, we're only gonna be riding the blue trails. All right, so let's take a look at these trails that we're gonna be riding for day three and four. So we have Vermont, we have Picnic, we have Rio Perdido, Tar Hill, Speed Run, Edge, and I believe that'll be it for the blue trails over here. There is a black side option to Vermont and uh, a couple of other trails that are just kind of in between all of those. Now, when I first started riding in Cameron Park, these were some of the trails that were my go-tos. Uh, that has kind of changed over the time that I've been riding here. I do a lot more up towards the ranch, uh, making my way up to the jump lines. Those will be in the third video. Uh, if you guys are looking forward to some jump lines, uh, make sure to come back next week and check out that video. So this is day four of riding. Yesterday I came out and rode a couple of the trails in this section of Cameron Park. So uh, I'm going to hop back on the bike and go do some more. We're going to hit a couple more of these blue trails that are over here in that middle section of the park. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So let's hop straight into some POV riding. Excuse me.
So that's it for all the POV riding for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, some of these trails are still some of my favorite in the park. They're a lot of fun. Uh, Tar Hill is one that you can just carry a boatload of speed down and uh, it's really enjoyable. Uh, other than that, Xover, I did ride through there. I didn't get any footage of it because it's really just a linkage between Active Faith and Tar Hill. So there's not a lot there. It's a bit overgrown. Uh, Edge, I do have some old footage of it. I didn't ride it today. Uh, but it's almost more like a side hit. It's just you can go up on the rocks and you have a really nice view of the river and across uh, to the other side of the park. So those two are some of the smaller trails I wouldn't really recommend putting on your list to ride. Um, they're cool to, the edge is cool to see, but uh, Xover is not really worth your time in my opinion. Other than that, Vermont and Rio Perdido are some of my favorite trails here. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You can link them all together. A lot of trails flow into the bottom section of Rio Perdido. Uh, so if that is something that you were looking at on the map and you weren't sure how it all works, uh, I hope that today's video kind of gives some clarity for that. Uh, other than that, Fox Run is a lot of fun. I really enjoy that trail. They did add some jumps to it, and so I'm, I'm starting to relearn the trail and how much trail speed I need for those jumps. And you can see in today's video, I just came into that berm right before that first gap jump a little off and it killed my speed so i just rolled past that one for today but you know it kind of goes back to the same thing of if you're rolling into it and the confidence isn't there it's not worth just doing it anyways and hurting yourself uh, so i rolled past it today i have hit that jump before and it, it's pretty smooth it's not too bad um, today was the first day i rode vermont black typically when i come up on that power line i'll go to the right and uh, that's like Vermont Blue, and it'll take me straight into Rio Perdido. And that's a really fun line to just flow from top to bottom. Uh, but Vermont Black was a lot of fun. I liked hitting that little drop. And there's some jumps on the other side of it that I'd like to hit at some point. Uh, but something to work on. It was a good couple of days of riding, so I'm glad that I'm doing this series. It's really shown me a lot more of the diversity in the trails that Cameron Park has to offer. So yeah, my favorite takeaways uh, from the last couple of days of riding would probably be Vermont, uh, Fox Run, Rio Perdido, Tar Hill, and Speed Run I'd probably put towards the bottom of that list. So if you're coming out here to Cameron Park and you're looking to ride some of the best trails out here, these are great, just single track, straight from top to bottom, a lot of fun. Uh, I park at Mouth of the Bosque when I want to ride these trails instead of uh, Redwood Shelter. You can park wherever you want, uh, but you know when you park at Mouth of the Bosque, you can just get out of the car and get straight on the trail, so it's pretty awesome. So those are my thoughts on the trails over the last couple of days worth of riding in the second episode of this four, probably four episode series now. Next week, we'll be moving on the other side of the uh, Mouth of the Bosque parking area. So you have a lot of trails over there like Johnny, uh, Twin Bridges, and it makes its way all the way up there towards the ranch for like Powder Monkey, the jump trails and stuff like that. So stay tuned for next week. Probably will be hitting the jump trails if I can find enough time to ride. Uh, I might make that video a little bit longer to make sure I get all those trails in one video. So that, that's it for today. Uh, stay tuned next week. I will have another part of this series coming out. Uh, I appreciate you guys stomping in and hanging out with me and riding with me. So leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Uh, to anybody who is subscribed, thanks again for supporting this channel. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. So until next week, I'll see you guys out there on the trails.